So today I risked, uh, or I'm risking everything. I, uh, well, when I say everything, I got the cell phone obviously along, and this is actually a trail where they could uh, get a vehicle back here if uh, if I don't make it. This is uh, be the longest attempted hike since I uh, broke my neck, but uh, that's not the purpose of this video. I wanted to talk about the uh, the creator build and uh, what's going on there. Of course, uh, the parts are coming very, very slowly because the supply chain is broken. I uh, got the fire sticks today. Why in the world? They ship them FedEx and you got to sign for them. I mean, who the heck if you worked, if I was working a job right now, which I can't because of my neck injury. Uh, good God, I mean, how would you be home to, to sign the stupid uh, paperwork? Anyway, so that's, uh, so we got that. But I wanted to discuss, you know, the the steps I'm taking. So today I'm on my way to Best Buy. I took apart the uh, in the previous video the old Dell computer. So we'll get that recycled. I mean, the main thing is you gotta. I mean, you know, I want to get everything cleaned out. And then uh, I've already imaged the uh, Creator laptop. So that's, you know, you can go into backup uh, Windows 7 uh, image backup. Made an image of that just. Uh, and then of course I'm slowly. Uh, what I do is. For backups all right I have three five terabyte uh, backup drives you can buy them the Western Digital or whatever you want and uh, you know USB uh, 3.0 and uh, those are really great and uh, so I always keep all my downloads in one directory and you think wow you know that's I have a lot of downloads you know when you think about all the Linux operating systems uh, all the tools that I use and everything so I keep that in a directory right hanging right off of the uh, C colon uh, backslash and then so so what I do is I compare that downloads directory you can use win merge win merge is the tool that I use uh, you can go up and uh, you, you can search on that uh, duck duck go it or whatever and I uh, and get that tool it's very very good because uh, then what I do is I compare the directories on all three backup devices and that's the thing you say well that's a lot of redundancy well I'm going to tell you in, in, in the past I have lost multiple backups before, and I don't even know how it happened. I was married at the time. I had my suspicions, but who knows? Uh, but anyway, and so uh, so I keep, uh, before I tear those computers apart, which is what we're going to be doing uh, for to build the new, the new creator uh, uh, powerhouse, we're going to tear apart those old uh, uh, servers. Now, you know, I did some, some um, research on those motherboards, One's an Asus Crosshair uh, V, and the other one's a, a VZ, uh, I can't remember, Crosshair VZ. What anyway, those motherboards are still selling for 200 and some dollars on eBay, which is incredible, as old as they are. And I was thinking about upgrading, like, the CPU or, uh, or you know, maybe, uh, I certainly don't need any more disk space in them, uh, or maybe even upgrade the memory a little bit. And I thought, what's the point, you know? I mean, because I'm looking at the CPUs and, you know, they, there's some of them, I mean, you're looking at maybe $100, $200 for a CPU for an old, old uh, motherboard, even though it's still a good one. Um, you know, and, and, and the, what I got in there, mainly it's just for virtualization. So, you know, installed in like Linux operating systems and stuff like that when I get back to where I'm going to be doing a, uh, another rewrite of my uh, cybersecurity book. Uh, that's down the road. So that's... Uh, so anyway, I'll be busting those apart now. But getting back to the backups. So you got the download directory, and then of course I keep a main directory where I keep all of my files. And then, and then last but not least, I've got a music directory. And of course my uh, my ex-wife, she she did leave some music on those computers, and so I kind of try to organize all of that. And then uh, so then so you really got three three directories. You got your your data directory, you got your downloads directory, you got your music directory, and then last but not least is you know we'll take an image of all three uh, computers. I've already got one, of course, of the Creator laptop on all three uh, backup devices, and uh, and then well, I did want to say you know as far as uh, consolidating the music uh, because I did buy that new uh, Netgear uh, you know powerful router for five hundred dollars is you know one of the advantages of that router, and I'm hoping it's going to work. Is you could plug one of the hard, I mean, one of the backup devices into the, or two of them actually, into the back of that. So really, uh, I won't have to be switching those USB drives all around. I'm hoping, especially when I'm consolidating the music, that's going to be a big project. And because uh, I got to organize it and uh, 
you know, put it all in the right directories and get rid of some of the stuff because uh, she had a little bit different taste in music than I did. And uh, that'll save me some disk space. Uh, and then, of course, oh, I forgot the last directory is the videos directory. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I got I to gotta go in and really clean that out because there's so many videos and I keep backups of all my videos. Um, so that's going to be another, uh, once again, copying it out to the, uh, the router. Uh, and then once you've got it built, you know, like the music directory or the uh, videos directory built on the router, um, then you can just copy that to the other backup devices because uh, I have plenty of disk space on those servers, so I would copy it into the servers and then copy it in the back. So you can see, uh, when you're doing a, uh, I'm calling it the creator, the ultimate creator house, you know, when, when you're going to do a big project like this, it's a, it's a significant undertaking, just getting rid of all the old hardware. You know, this is my uh, third trip to Best Buy to recycle old stuff, you know, because I'm just looking around and I'm thinking, you know, why, why am I keeping this, you know? I mean, geez, I, it was a great SSH server, and you, a lot of people didn't know what that was. And uh, when I say an SSH server, it's like a VPN server, you know. You can tunnel into your home network from any hotspot anywhere. And the great thing about using that Dell Pentium 4 was it doesn't use a whole lot of electricity. Because if you think about it, that SSH server has to be running 24-7. Well... You don't want a big old server, you know, sucking down, you know, 10,000 watts, uh, you know, running on your, uh, uh, your 24 hours a day on your home network, you know. So you want just an old uh, PC. Uh, and that's where, you know, even, well, these days, I mean, you can build a computer, a pretty decent one, a nice SSH server or VPN server for four or 500. So what's the point of keeping... That old Dell, right? And then, of course, my mom's computer is still up in Virginia in storage. And uh, I'm hoping that I can bring that down. And I think that's got IDE drives in it because I've got some, some IDE drives that I can use for that build. And then that'll be the new SSH server because that's a, that's a small computer. Better than the Dell but by far. So that's, uh, and of course, that's down the road to rewrite my chapter on SSH uh, servers and, uh, and, you know, clients. Okay, so that's, uh, you know, if you hear about that cybersecurity guy, uh, they had to send in the rescue teams. One thing I did forget today, <laughs> one thing bad about this is the Chernobyl um, uh, Memorial Forest. By the way, if you go back in my videos, if you're interested in knowing about this hike, um, I've got videos on this. It's about a 5K, oh, 5K loop. Now, if I wasn't crippled, and, uh, and, and all, by the way, all my hikes up to this point have been on asphalt in populated areas. Well, you know, here, I mean, when I pulled into the parking lot, I was the only car here. <laughs> you know, so, so there's nobody within, well, right now, geez, I'm thinking uh, we're probably a good couple miles back in here. Uh, it's, it's, uh, but I, I haven't made the turn going this way, so I'm not at the halfway point, but I, you know, the way it goes is it goes way out this way, and then it turns, uh, well, I want to say, well, this is actually south, but, you know, it feels north, because this is the way I go around. But anyway, that's uh, that's it for the hiking. And like I said, go back in my videos if you ever want to see about this hike and what it's all about. Uh, what I was getting to was there's no place to sit down on this hike, and so I forgot my doggone chair. I have a chair that I can put in the backpack. Now, I did bring water and some snacks and emergency supplies because uh, this is this is a whole different ball game for me now I yeah you know, I'm not getting out and doing aggressive trails or any of that I'm just trying to survive this uh, but it's I mean it's beautiful to be here and I got to make some phone calls there's nothing better than being out in the forest and uh, you know especially when they're distasteful phone calls because I got to call some lawyers and, uh, and and talk about some some things that uh, that I've got to get worked up all right, so uh, let's do the uh, mantra. It's good, 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 good to live in the free, the free, the free state of Florida. And uh, if you can help out the uh, hurricane victims, please do so. I can't do anything uh, financially or from really uh, physically, which is a shame because I could have during Katrina. I have all I have all the equipment. I just don't have my body. You know, I mean, no way I could go down there and. I'd be, uh, I'd be um, 
what do you call it? I'd be a refugee, <laughs> you know, just looking around going, well, you guys are doing a good job. Keep going, man. <laughs> Florida man, Florida man. All right, stay free. This video with this site right here, I'm in the home stretch. So uh, I made it. Well, I haven't made it yet. I got <laughs> another quarter, quarter, half mile to go. But this is once you reach this road, because the rest of it's uh, you know the, the sandy part of the trail. I just thought I'd uh, show you guys what a guy with a broken neck can do, baby. He made it around Chernobyl. Woohoo! So funny, I decided to make a creator video while I was hiking today. Look what I came home to. There's the O11. Dynamic XL, Lee and Lee case, heavier than I thought, man. I don't know. I hope that's packing material. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. I mean, it looks big because of the box, but I, once you get it out, I think it'll fit. Like, I think it would fit underneath that table right there. Uh, that's not where it's going, of course. And then this is the uh, that monitor I was telling you about. This is the M28U gaming monitor, uh, 3840 by 2160 um, Ultra HD uh, by the way, the thing's gone up forty, fifty dollars in price since I bought it, and I think I even got a twenty dollar gift card with it. So that's maybe a seventy dollar swing on that, just with inflation. And then, of course, this is the rest of the hardware. Some of it, I actually I got these today. This is the uh, this is what I was telling you about. This is the Fire Cuda five thirty uh, M dot two uh, PCIe uh, Gen four by four uh, NVMe. SSD and this is a two terabyte so you got two of these uh, now the motherboard will hold up to four of these um, but I I think I'm just going to use these and then um, this is an old 80 gig IDE hard drive for another computer this is a three terabyte um, uh, SSD and then I got some other SSDs and then there's the DaVinci so we, we're getting all the hardware pretty quickly here for the uh, creator uh, house I got one last thing that I'm waiting on, and that's the power supply. Now, I could start putting the computer into this case uh, without the power supply, I guess. But, you know, that's kind of the hardest thing to, to cable manage is the power supply. Oh, I did want to show you this. Oh, my God. This is this came, too. Look at the size of this. <laughs> I mean, I hope you can appreciate from the, the, the video here. How big this uh, AMD Radon RX 6800 XT, um, this is the AS Rock card. And then they did say it was big. I mean, I, I remember the old Macintosh computers. I don't, I'd don't. i say that some of those computers weren't that damn big. So I'm hoping it should fit in that case right there. I guess we'll find out when we get to it. But And I'm hoping that some of that's packaging. And that is a heavy booger when you pick up that... Uh, a gaming card so um we're just about there that you know i'd like i said i'm backing up all the other computers and and uh just recycle the dell computer today and so we're um slowly getting the office ready to uh to start uh, converting over to this setup i did want i have been looking at this monitor to see if it, you know they offer any good more good deals on it because i still want i'd love to get the 32 because it would actually fit in my office really well because i'm not sure this probably go in the florida room all right that's it Sorry the video got to a little long.